Good evening, Mr. Ida. You're working late. Oh, Shinko. I was passing by the office and I noticed the lights were still on, so I thought I'd stop in. I got something for you. Wow, thanks. Are you here all alone? Must be tough. I just let the workers who were working overtime go home. Huh? The ear and closing files already arrived. My clients don't send their files until the last minute. No, I'm returning these. What? My client ended their contract with me. It's my fault for getting so busy and routine. They said I had been cold and distant recently and that they want an accountant who could provide more personal consultation. That's terrible. You had a contract. Even tax accountants have their busy times. I kept putting off requests for a consultation. There's no excuse for this, but I was busy with the My Number system and reduced tax rate preparations. The My Number system. It's hard to ask for more money to cover extra management costs. It seems there are other offices experiencing difficulties in buying specialized software. We're one of those offices. When the consumption tax rate was raised, we were not able to raise our fees. Even during negotiations to increase our prices, I was told, don't you know our financial condition? So negotiations fell flat. Our work involves understanding our clients' financial statements, so it's hard for us to do business. Our costs are increasing, and our income continues to decrease. This is a serious problem. That's right. I want to spend more time providing consultation to the client and giving careful guidance to the client's accounting manager. However, work is getting more and more complicated and troublesome. There are compatibility problems with automated accounting software leading to manual paperwork. There is just too much work to do. I agree. Popular software has a specialized data structure, making it difficult to send to our software. It will be great if all software was compatible. An invoice code and eligible invoice will be required from 2023 for tax credit on consumption tax purchase. These invoices are supposed to be issued by the taxpayer, but certified tax accountant offices do this on behalf of taxpayers in South Korea, and the extra work becomes a burden. What? Will we be in charge of issuing invoices for client? That is a possibility. I'm worried. That is how things are carried out in South Korea already. There are certified tax accountant offices which always have to work overtime at the end of the month issuing invoices. Will overtime fees increase with the start of invoicing? Will basic documents for issuing invoices be received in a paper-based format? Documents received from the client are still paper-based, I assume. What will work involving calculating tax credit for purchases entail? Will we receive these documents in a paper form and input the numbers manually? Eligible invoices can be saved electromagnetically, so there should also be ways to download them in an electronic format from the Internet. That would be great. Yeah, but there may be problems with compatibility. Compatibility with invoice data in addition to compatibility with accounting software? What are we going to do? We will also need to buy new software to process invoice data. It would be great if we could add these costs onto our fees. What if we couldn't add these costs onto our fees? When work increases dramatically, costs also increase. There is a limit for certified tax accountant offices. This is an accounting crisis. An accounting crisis? Even now we are incredibly busy. Hey, I would like you to take a look at something. What is it? A new type of accounting software? It's a global standard data format. This neutral data format does not rely on one individual software vendor. All journals and evidence can be displayed with this format. Standard? Is there such a thing? Can't most software be displayed in a format such as a CSV format? which is machine-readable with spreadsheet software? Isn't that CSV format a global standard? Presently, CSV plays that role, but... There's a fundamental problem. What is it? 
The journal data looks the same on the screen for every software vendor. For example, in the date section, the meaning could be the date of entry or the date of the accrual of transaction, depending on the software vendor. Dates are also displayed in many different ways such as month, day, year, month, day, or just date. All of them have the same meaning, but machines don't have natural judgment capabilities. Therefore, it's necessary to link the data manually beforehand in the system when exchanging data. I know, that causes the most work. Yeah, there is nothing like standard specifications, which clearly define the meaning of date in the system. Standard specifications? This is becoming a difficult conversation. Well, for example, a standard dictionary which lists the meaning of each item in accounting software. Like a dictionary of specialized accounting terms? Exactly. If all software vendors shared something like this, we wouldn't need to put efforts into linking items manually, because the computer could read and understand the items in machine language. We wouldn't have to do any more manual linking. Right. It would be possible to load the evidence data, and the software could automatically send data to the journal format. Isn't there something like this now, a system which sends savings data to the receipt journal? But it doesn't work very smoothly, right? It seems like data can be sent in a smooth manner at first, but there are high development costs and work ends up being done manually in many cases. However, I would like you to take a look at this. This is for experimental purposes. It includes a year's transaction of data from a small to medium-sized firm. Are we going to download this? Yes. Huh, it's coming smoothly. With my system, there would be errors in correction work which takes time. How did it do that? Before the downloaded data is sent to the accounting software, it is converted to the global standard format. In other words, a standard conversion mechanism is inserted between the finance board and accounting software like a sandwich. This is quite effective in converting data. What? I can confirm all of this in the screen? This global standard format was originally for machines loading to convert data, but beneficial functions were added. It's possible to display data in a HTML format so we can comprehend it. HTML? This is a format which creates a screen of internet websites. Anyone can read this format if they have a computer. What is the name of this format? XBRLGL. What? XB... What was that? The name is a little long, so you can just call it the G. The G? No. <laughs> Okay, let's call it GL. Won't solving the problem of data compatibility with automatic journals be the end of certified tax accountant offices? No, it won't. The choice of account description cannot be left up to machines. These must be carefully checked by a person. But registering account descriptions and using learning functions in accounting software will make a lot of work automatic. That's right. At the least, the number of people inputting data will decrease significantly. There are also advantages for consumption tax invoices. What? Aren't invoices the cause of a lot more work? Consumption tax invoices can be transferred with electronic data in place of paper. If this could be adapted in the XBRLGL format, you could incorporate the data to the accounting software and send it to the journal. Correct. Details of items listed on the consumption tax invoices are set legally, so there is sufficient information for creating a journal. Vague receipts which include items which are addressed to customer or assigned bill for article must be recorded in the journal, but they are troublesome. On the invoice, the issuer's business number is included and the item name and tax rate, which becomes the basis for choice of the account description, are clearly listed. Being able to input these types of items into journal automatically through sending them 
will improve both accuracy and speed of journals. In putting cash transactions, which had to be done manually before, will now be able to be done automatically. This could be a great opportunity. It's necessary to keep in mind that the function of XBRLDL is not to make journals automatic. Data standardized technology solves the problem of requiring people to link data. This is the function of XBRLGL. Eliminating the chores of inputting and linking data will allow me to concentrate on more important things. That's right. We can have more time to provide thorough consultation to our clients in order to meet their demands.